In the base area, there are different types of bases. In the rectangular type, as the name suggests, a rectangular base is set. Here we have the option to represent the base thickness as a cross section. If I simply enter 50 here, we can see that the cross section measures 50 by 50. If I change the second number to 150, we see the change in the cross section. The base height is the height of the base from the zero point. We can see this in the front view. Here, we have the top of the floor set as zero. We can see it from the side and from here, the base height is calculated. So, the height setting should be at zero to get a correct setting for upper cabinets. Otherwise, this value z is also still present, which defines the z position, and if a value is entered here, for example, 150, and the base is eliminated, there can often be confusion with the height. Another setting point, when we look at the rectangular bases again, here we can say L4 left, then only the left bases will be displayed. but we can also say that we have bases on the left and back, and accordingly, the result will always be displayed. Self-explanatory is the base recess from the outer edge of the cabinet. Here we have left slash right set to zero, so if we enter 50-50 there, the recess will be drawn accordingly. Similar to the rectangular type, we have the tapered base, where the bases taper down. The next type is the front V4 front. Here we enter the value 19 again, and we can see the recess on the left slash right side, and here we have the default value of 0 millimeters. The flush front and side base causes the front base to be continuous. From the back, we can see that the side bases run continuously as it is typically built. The other parameters remain the same. Then we have the mitered front and side execution, meaning that it is mitered all around. Similar to the rectangular type, we have front miter, back flush. Here, the front is mitered, and the side bases are drawn flush. The stump and mitered front execution. Here, only the left side has a mitered edge. This is interesting when we later have continuous cabinets or when there is simply a wall on the right side, then the base can simply be set flush. The counterpart mitered front right, flush left. And then we already have the type symbol from base folder. These two variants will be shown in a separate video because accessing libraries is done in elements for the cabinet object with multiple objects in the same procedure, such as fronts, lids. 
Here, the procedure is always similar and will be covered in a separate video or chapter.